this is how I do my makeup. So I start out with some color bar primer and then I put it all over my face. I rub it in very gently. Don't rub it too much because it's like a silicone primer. It fills the pores and it blurs the skin. It's like a filter in real life. Then I go in with my Stay Quirky Translucent Powder. I set the primer so that it creates a very smooth canvas and it evens out the texture of the skin and it's all ready for foundation which is the next step. Then I go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 330 Toffee. I put some on the back of my hand and then I'm going to dot it all over my face, on my cheeks, on my chin, on my forehead. Don't forget the neck. Girls, never forget the neck. I'm going to take my beauty sponge. This is a very generic one which I got from Amazon. I'm going to blend all of that in. Do you see how seamless that is? That is awesome. So I'm going to blend it on my cheeks, on my forehead. I'm going to take the foundation all over my face and make sure you take your time with blending because it's very important. I'm going to go in with my NY Bay Concealer. I know, I've been trying out new brands and it's okay, it's doing its job very well. For the price, I'm going to say I'm impressed. So I put a concealer a few shades lighter than my skin in a triangular shape under the eyes so that I can conceal my dark circles and it's also going to brighten up the under eye area. I'm also going to take it all over my lid as well because I'm going to put some eyeshadow. Then I go with the concealer on my nose, on my chin, on my forehead, all the high points of my face. I'm going to blend it all with my beauty sponge. I'm going to put some of that concealer on my eyes. It's going to act as an eyeshadow base and it's going to make those shadows pop. I'm going to blend that in with my beauty sponge as well. And then I'm going to go in with a yellow corrector. Yeah, it's going to add like a brightening effect under my eyes. It's also going to add like a very thin layer of yellow pigment, which is going to cancel out the dark circles even more. So I'm going to set all that with some loose powder. Setting your concealer ensures that it doesn't crease. Then I go over it with my compact. By color since I got it a long time ago. I don't even remember the shade. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go in with my concealer, which is in a very dark shade. I forgot the name of the shade. It's by Nika K. I use it as a contouring shade and I use it to chisel out those cheekbones. <laughs> Look at them cheekbones getting chiseled. it on my forehead along my jawline to give the illusion of a single chin <laughs> below the lip so it creates like a voluminous effect on the bridge of my nose around the tip of my nose as well so I'm gonna blend all of that with my beauty sponge just taking my time with it this concealer has sort of a waxy texture so it did take quite some time for it to blend but once it blends it's seamless I love the finish and next I'm going to use the highlight and contour palette by wet n wild I'm going to put some of that highlighting powder on the very same points which were the high points of my face under my eyes on my chin on my forehead on the bridge of my nose and then I'm gonna take the contouring shade and I'm just going to put it all over my cream contour and it's a bit too warm so it also acts as a bronzer so yay I'm gonna blend all of that in next I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush and use that to contour my nose and I'm also going to use that contour shade as a really nice transition color for my eyeshadow I'm gonna zoom you guys in just going to brush my eyebrows real quick 
and fill them in with my NY Bay eyebrow pencil. It's in the shade dark brown, but I think it's more of a gray than a brown. Or maybe it's just me, I don't know. But it's also got a waxy texture, so it sort of sets my brows in place as well. Just combing it with my spoolie. One eyebrow down, another one to go, and we're done with them both. Now I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette in the shade Comfort Zone. And I'm gonna put a mix of both the transition shades, both the matte colors on my shadow, on my lid. Huh, yeah. Yeah, it took a really long time, you guys. And I'm gonna take the darker shade and I'm gonna put it in the outer corner of my eye. Outer corner of my eye. I know I'm new to this whole voiceover thing, so forgive me. And then I'm gonna take a golden shimmery shade and I'm gonna put it all over my eyelid. It's going to add like a really nice sparkle. And then I'm going to go in with my crease color all over again and then blend all those colors in. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm going to put my favorite mascara, Colossal Volume by Maybelline. Speaking of which, I have plans to shift from using all the products I'm using right now just because I've been using it for a while. And I'm going to go from that and I'm going to switch to a completely vegan makeup routine because I, th I think we should all start using cruelty free. And speaking of cruelty free, the mascara I'm using right now, the Skinny Mascara by Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild is a very good vegan brand to start with. It's also affordable. As you can see, I have many Wet n Wild products. Both the eyes done and now it's time for blush and it gives me that subtle blushing from within. Blushing, looking at your crush in the favorite movie you're watching. Kind of look going on, yeah. You go, girl. You glow, girl. That's my highlighter right there. That's from Makeup Revolution in the shade Radiant. It's a very recent purchase. I'm still working it. I'm still working it. Right. And then I'm going to take some of that, put it in the inner corners of my eye to really brighten the eyes, make it look bigger. Yeah, I know I put too much on my nose, but hey. Put it on my cupid's bow. And now it's time for the lips. I'm going to line my lips with the Wet n Wild Lip Pencil in the shade Chestnut. I'm going to fill it all over. Just to create a really nice border. I really, I really like the color. And now I'm going to go in with this really nice liquid lipstick by I Amsterdam. It's called the Mounties. That's my finished look, y'all. I hope you like this tutorial. This is my first one. Please don't forget to encourage this pretty, cute, cutie pie. Okay. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. See ya.